Hello, I'm Greg Guardiola, the Flexible Department Manager at Ardent Dental Laboratory, and today I'd like to share a few tips and show you a technique to properly adjust Valplast partials. To make these adjustments, we will be using a Valplast adjustment kit from Axis Dental Products. This kit consists of a fine and a super fine NTI universal cutters, two NTI brown silicone polishers, and a ceramic Supermax mounted greenstone. We will also be using a Valplast bullet shaped trimmer, which is not included in the kit, but will be provided complimentary with your first case from Ardent. One of the biggest questions that I get is, can Valplast be repaired? So what I've done is I've taken the two most popular shades, our Meharry shade and our standard shade, and repair these two anterior teeth. So you can see that the material can be repaired. When reducing the retention, by relieving the mesial and distal undercuts of abutment teeth, I like to use the fine NTI universal cutter at approximately 20 to 25,000 RPMs. When using this cutter, remove a little material at a time to assure not over relieving the partial. The cutter may leave a little excess material which can easily be removed with a sharp knife or a bard parker. When reducing the retention by relieving the mesial and distal undercuts of anterior teeth, I like to use the fine cutter and remove material slowly to assure not to create any food traps. When adjusting the periphery borders, I like to use the super fine cutter at approximately 30 to 35,000 RPMs, pulling the cutter across the periphery surface of the partial. If larger adjustments are needed and much more material is needed to be removed, we use the Valplast bullet shaped trimmer at approximately 20 to 25,000 RPM. As you can see, the trimmer cuts very smooth and removes material very quickly. Once all adjustments have been made and your periphery borders are at your desired length, we then begin to repolish the partial. First, by using the Supermax ceramic green mounted stone at approximately 20,000 RPMs. I place the stone on the periphery surface of the partial in a left to right motion. and slowly began to smooth the surface. Once you got the periphery surface smooth, we then began to complete the polish with a brown silicone polisher. At approximately 15 to 20,000 RPMs in a left to right motion, I'm making constant contact with the periphery surface of the partial with the polisher. And as you can see, it really brings the partial back to its original shine. And I'd like to leave you with a few tips. For the best fitting Valplast partials, we recommend the AccuDent Impression System by Avaclar VivaDent. If the AccuDent system is not accessible to you, a basic algin impression is recommended. Final tip. When seeding a Valplast partial and you notice blanching around the gingiva of the abutment teeth, 
Before relieving the tissue side of the parcel, use some basic ortho pliers with no grooves or teeth. Grab the clasp at the base of the partial and bend upward toward the abutment tooth. This clasp will hold its position and you will not sacrifice the original design of the partial. Well that completes our Valplast demonstration and with that I would like to thank you for joining us and if you have any further questions please give us a call at 877-733-6848 or you can reach us at ardentlab.com.